Okay. So, uh, yeah. Discord's uh, frame rate was pretty bad, apparently. So, might save that for other games that have less going on on the screen. Uh, so, I wasn't going to stream this on Twitch, and I wasn't going to commentate or any of that. I was just going to chill and, you know, do some PvP, but uh, wasn't running too well. So, we're doing it on Twitch. Uh, but, yeah, I'll probably still be a lot more relaxed than normal. I'm, I, I, I'm coughing and stuff, so I don't want to be doing full-on commentary. And the host died. So this character, though, is not even remotely ready. They're going to have, like, 40 int when they're good to go. Uh, but right now, they have very little int. So although we are a caster, we're a really shitty one. So, uh... But, yeah, I need to do Aldridge Faithful. Because the, I'm not sure what level range they're going to go to. And there's a chance they'll be at, like, level 80, level 90, or whatever. And Faithful's not active at every level range. So I just want to get the Covenant Rewards while I'm here, and so far it seems like it's actually pretty easy to do it, so. This, this will be a good character eventually, though. It's, it's probably my weakest character of all right now, but that, that won't stay that way. Oh, oh I am tired, but uh, I want to play me some Dark Souls, so. Oh, let's see if we can, uh, shit. Did it just too soon. They weren't looking either. Blew my chance there. I love that sword he's using, it's super fun. Okay, let's uh, see if we can get our weapon buff off here. I should not have cast that. Should have just plunge attacked him. And yeah, they're both using great swords, might be very careful. I kind of sucked. I got roll caught because I was dodging the projectile. Not really sure why that guy started doing the weapon art when I was right in his face like that. Oh, he mashing. Like our teammates a caster as well. Although I'm not sure we deserve the title of caster right now or like baby caster. One more. Now we could get um, 11 more. No, actually, 21 more, and we could get the other Covenant reward, which I think is a staff. The stream needs more toxicity. Could, could probably use poison, yeah. Grand cast green. Yeah, we're not there yet. But we need to at least get 10, because that's how you get the spell from these guys. Faithful is fucking wild at 120, because uh, there's so many gankers. Like, almost everything you'll get is a, a full group of gankers. And they're all going to be decked out and camping and all that. But it can be pretty fun. At this level, you get that sometimes, but it's, it's just random nonsense at this level. I'm not gonna lie, chat. I'm not actually faithful to Aldridge. He's uh, kind of a dick, and uh, Gwendolyn was cooler. It's kind of just a big sludge monster. All right, where are they be? You know, he might actually be going down to the bottom part kill the uh, doggies. 
See, I did that after killing Aldridge, so I couldn't be invaded while doing it. Because you don't want to be fighting two giant dogs while, uh... An invader is on you. No, uh, it's not down there. Hmm. So I invaded up top, which means he's not in the first part of the level. Heretic. Man, I need to make like a second channel on on Twitch for when I want to do chill streams, if I, especially if I don't want to commentate. Because, um, you know, I want to have a standard on my normal channel and people know what they're getting and... And I feel obligated to be entertaining if I'm streaming on this channel. But there are times where, you know, I just kind of want to just chill. And if, you know, if the, the hardcore viewers want to just, you know, watch and, you know, see what's going on, you know, we can do that. Okay, where the hell is this guy? Maybe he was up here, got invaded, then ran away. And he is in the front part of the level. Those guys are still there. Oh, there he is. You fighting somebody? Oh my god, let me in. Let me in! Gotta go around. You mean you're pretending? Yeah. Might say we're a faker. Like Much like we're faking to be a caster right now, like we are not a very proficient caster yet. Yeah, this character is unbelievably weak, but uh, maybe someday. I've got a plan for them, though. I do a pretty good weapon with, though, with the spell buff, like on my weapon. That's not too bad. It's nothing exceptional, but not weak. Should have held that R2 longer. Could have roll caught him. Probably should have just fired a spell at him. I might have gotten him in time. Fucking pillar. I'll swing at some point. There it is. Still alive, I think. Yep. Got him! Does this count as point down? Captain, does, does this does this does this point down? Yes. That's pretty good actually. I, I like that. Especially when their body is still there and you're shooting it. That's kinda of funny. Shot down. Alright, I think that's actually enough for the first reward. Let's see here. The other reward is if I turn in 20 more, and I think it's a staff. And I don't think it's good. I don't remember, though. Like, it might be meta. It's a certain, like, intelligence range. Maybe we go for it just because. But this character needs to level up. Like, they need to be a higher level. But I don't know. Maybe we hang out for a day or two at this level range and get it done just to have it. Well, hello. Let me just uh, do this real quick. I'm so sorry. This does not seem to be going well for you. Uh, we're too laggy. I couldn't parry him. He was mashing, but I think it's too laggy. Oh yeah, holy crap, it is so laggy. <laughs> like I hit that guy's shield and it countered way later. That sucks because um, normally you could just guarantee parry him when they mash like that, but when the connection's bad, it does not uh, work generally. Basically, if the connection's bad, you need to parry early, and you can't parry early if you're getting hit, so.
I, I thought he was gonna be out of stam there. Now see, if I had more int, I could kill him with the spell shot. But I bet you he would have lived if I uh, had blasted him there. I could equip this thing and boost my sorcery damage by a lot, but I kind of forgot. And we're kind of just picking on scrubs right now, but we're, we're doing this for the covenant rewards. We ain't doing this for uh, pride or anything. If I was wanting to PvP seriously, this would not be the stats I would be using right now. If I had to like 1v1 myself, like if my characters had to fight each other, this character would get destroyed by my other characters right now. But once they're like 20 levels higher, I actually think they're going to be pretty good. So they're, they're going to at least go to level 60 uh, or 70, but I, I don't know. I might take them to 120 or maybe 99 or something. I don't know. I mean, some of them weren't noobs. We had a, like, we had that, a few with phantoms and we had a few people that knew what they were doing, but it's mostly people just, you know, playing through the game naturally. There's a lot of people, though, that will, like, play Dark Souls from time to time, you know, play through the game, have fun, but they never take PvP seriously, even in the slightest, and they never even look for PvP. So they might have, like, 600 hours in the game, but they, um, you know, they have no idea uh, what to do in an invasion. Okay, this guy's got blues, there's a purple, I think there's a an NPC running around. Okay, I don't want to use my uh, soul mask because it'll target the purple because this game is really stupid like that. That purple is getting absolutely wrecked. I don't have a lot of faith in this purple because he just walked into my swing and then he took so much damage, so I don't think he has that much health. Now, I could have parried that guy pretty easy because that was such an obvious swing, but I don't know what the connection's like. A little worried here, the purple is not so hot. That was really risky what I just did. Okay, at least the purple nailed him there. Let's go for it. Damn. Yeah, I think the uh, blue died, and so that guy just kind of gave up. I got my drag. Got my drag. All well, that matters. Had to follow that guy into hell, you know. Let's see. So we need eighteen more. Oh boy. We're using the, what do you call it, uh, Outrider boots and gloves and witch or Carla's set for the other two. Figure the hat is a necessity. You can't be a witch without the classic hat. We're not super tanky because we're using kind of off-brand uh, armor in terms of like absorption and weight and everything, but got to have some fashion. The closest to a broom you can have, I guess, would be the pitchfork. And you could, uh, later I'm going to have the int where I could like turn anything into a crystal weapon and I could make that uh, do good damage. I, I don't know if I have the stats for the pitchfork though. I think you need 14 decks. Beating up the Giants. Okay, we got uh, a squad here. No, it's just two, actually. Still gotta be careful, though. Let's see if we can get a plunge.
Well, if they don't do anything, I can just wait for a second faithful to come in, or, or a red, that works too. It's Pikachu! Unfortunately, uh, a red, I will also target with my mag the homing magic. Or if it was an Aldred's Faithful, I would not. Okay, that guy's password summoned. I had a feeling that was the case, considering he was using dual ultras. This guy has very little health. That was the easiest kill of my life. Got him! Nice hat. That's, some, that's like a mound maker setup right there, but he's a red. These are the easiest invasions of my life right now. I will say though, if you get higher level, Aldridge Faithful gets pretty tough. Like, they, they have a hard time later on. But at this level, uh, not a lot of gankers so far. I mean, there's been people with phantoms, but they're not exactly, uh, I don't know, PvPers. So I'm having to wear this ring because our int is so low. I actually, I'm not sure homing soul mass is worth it right now. Or without higher int, I'm not sure it's good right now. What could I use in place of it though? Like it'll be good later. It's actually like super good later. But mm. great. These are you can roll catch people with these every once in a while. Let me see the timing on this. It do look cool. Doesn't take too much FP. We'll see. I might give it a go. Gotta be careful though. If I've got a red teammate or a purple teammate, it can hit them. Oh yeah, the hat is is really good. I'm, I think I'm gonna really enjoy this character once they're actually finished. Okay, the NPCs are still there. There he is, right at the start. All right, let's see what we can do here. Oh God, here we go with that nonsense. Okay, great sword. Probably gonna be a lot of that. Could have punished that better, but. That was so close to working. If I had just started closer to him, that would have worked. You're getting awfully mashy. this guy's fashion and I like man at arm that's a that's a manly man at arms right there that, that man had a beard helping our uh, covenant brother out see that that's that's a good use of a, a non full face helmet right when you, you got to show off the beard I can respect that In this level range, um, people die pretty quick. It's because people are starting to get burst damage, and uh, 
but you can't be super tanky unless you're really min maxi. The only people that can really be tanky at this level range are Twinks, because they'll have a, a Prisoner's Chain, Hovel plus three, Ring of Favor plus three, and they can wear really, really, really heavy armor. Twinks are actually pretty effective at this level range. Although they fall off in just like a few levels though, like at level 60, 70, especially like 70 to 80. You really can't be a Twink anymore. Like by 70 and 80, everybody can be competent at that point. So Twinks stop being so effective. But yeah, like 40, 50, Twinks can get, they can start having really high burst damage where they can't at low level. Oh, that's our boy. Well, if we get into trouble, we can't really escape down here. So this will be interesting. All right. Great sword again. That is the wall near one. So this is gonna be tough because he's got more health than us and more flasks than us and we can't escape. So we need to just beat the shit out of him. Which thankfully we did. Because, uh, seriously, if you get, like, a, a host down there that's, like, a twink and they're good and are at least decent, uh, you don't have any options. So, uh, but thankfully that guy was just kind of a guy. But for real, that's a good way to die, uh, is going down there, uh, and you get caught with somebody that's gotten your number, you're not, uh, you're not getting out. You can build tank at this level, like, you can actually get really tanky pretty early, it's just, uh, you won't have a lot of damage. But that's like the meta at like super low level, like level 30, 20, 15, those level ranges. You put every single point into health and you do everything you can to wear heavier armor. And then you use weapons that like do good damage regardless of scaling. You use raw, you use fire, you use deep, stuff like that. And at this level, you absolutely could be a tanky son of a bitch. If you really wanted to, uh, if you went like ham on it, you could be crazy tanky at this level. But your damage would be kind of medium at best. It'd be good in a, if you were the host and you had a teammate and then you because you're the host you're the important one and you're unbelievably tanky uh that okay that guy's uh not in a good way right now Ooh, that's uh that's rough see um that is where you put on cat ring and you jump off so the mobs aren't on you and then you can fight the invader alone and you absolutely can have Cat Ring at this point in the game. Because uh, Cat Ring is actually the zone before this one. But yeah, that was a uh, big F. He got like, I think he got uh, counter hit by that Silver Knight. And it did almost half his health. Now see, I got 1,600 health here, but I actually don't when I invade. Uh, I'll lose 30% of that when I invade. Should've pointed out. Can you imagine? Like, you got like all these mobs on you, some invader comes in and doesn't really even do anything and then you point down. The best would be if someone invades you, they don't even touch you before the, the invader gets to you, you die, and then they point down. I, I go to one, yeah, wow, I lose like 400 health, that's uh... That's definitely a hit or two. I glad he was not paying attention there because I buffed at a very bad time. That is a good way to die. Ooh, okay, he's a bit tankier. Either that or he's got good magic resist. I only did 167. I was hoping the NPC would attack there, but didn't quite sync up. Oh, straight sword. Like, the fact that I roll caught there is so stupid. Like, there's no reason a straight sword should be able to roll catch like that. But it do! This character though basically has to use a straight sword, because I literally do not have the stats to use anything. Because all my points are going into, like, attunement and... Uh, int and, and of course health like you always have to do So he should have swung there because I was completely out of stam he would have uh, wrecked me It's hard to know that though But plunge attacks take a lot of stam so it's actually pretty common that people don't have stam after it Okay, I should have just r1'd r1'd. I just wanted to know if that worked 
Uh, so I should be bringing one blue flask with me. I've got a, I've got um, simple items, but uh, in chaotic situations, sometimes you just need the mana. I imagine this guy is pretty annoyed with that NPC. But hey, he killed it. I should have delayed my swing ever so slightly there. Or R2 actually. Out of stam there. Couldn't roll. One thing I don't like about Dark Souls 3 though is it's it's actually hard to get roll caught in a lot of situations. Um, you don't have to be that precise with rolling. So I'm hoping an Elden Ring. Uh, it's a bit easier to get roll caught just in general just so like everyone's options are better for killing people Because I'm gonna have to like run this man out of every single flask he has I need to do a weapon buff here because I'm out of mana I was so sure he was gonna roll there. I guess he was out of stam, so I should've just attacked. I was waiting for a roll to try to catch him. Like, you just shouldn't be able to do what this guy is doing. This is so common in Dark Souls 3. doing though is like baiting his swings so they miss me and then I do a running attack in but uh, I'm kind of being lazy and I don't want to bother with that also I'm trying to make sure I can punish his heals because if I hit him when he heals he's basically losing like half a flask and that's a really big deal Honestly, all this guy's doing is roll spamming and then randomly R1 or winning. That's pretty much all he's doing. There's nothing special about that, and the fact that it takes this long is just kind of silly. Yeah, I should be trying to bait his swings better. It's like kind of how you counter this. It's just, it's really risky. Should have R2 there. This man is finally out of flasks. God. What are you gonna do though? <sighs> yes, I don't know why he was taunting. He was, wasn't doing so hot. I don't really, I don't really blame the player. I, I, I blame the game. Like he probably doesn't know what else to do, right? I, d I doubt he knows how to do some of the more like aggressive options with an exile sword. Like he didn't do any running attacks, he didn't do any rolling attacks, he didn't do any, R any he didn't do any delayed R ones, he didn't do any free aimed R ones, right? Uh, so like, you know, the fact that it goes that long 
is just because that's how you know Dark Souls 3 is with giving you way too many iframes on your roll and your it's mainly that your roll takes so little spam, right? It's so spammable. Um, like if you get caught, a lot of times the answer to not get roll caught is double rolling. And the thing is, in, in, in some of the other games, double rolling is actually kind of costly. And you know, if you're in a bad spot, you might not be able to do it. Where in this game, you can pretty much always double roll. Uh, I did that way too soon. I should have waited like just a little bit longer. Was this the purple earlier? I know he had that weapon, but I, I don't remember what his name was. Let's see if I can get a plunge here. Almost. Oh, I need a buff. My damage without my buff is pretty crap. That was a good R2 because like almost anyone would R1 there. It was just a good delay. Yes, I think this is the purple from before. I don't know why I didn't roll there. Surprised that didn't roll catch. Cat ring on. This is an accident waiting to happen. Yeah, that, that'll work. I don't even know what the point of this is because it's like he doesn't have a build that can benefit from stalling. I gotta be careful though. I mean, the host advantage is so big in this game that if you fight someone that's like remotely competent, it's really easy to just get wrecked. I think he went down the ladder. This is getting a little sad. Uh, if he, well, if he slid, actually, he might have. If he slid, slide, you can go down pretty quick. This is where I need obscuring ring because um, it's really good to like let. They, they don't realize you're coming down the ladder when you have obscuring ring on generally. Yeah, I think he went down there. Oh my god. Let's see. I'm actually gonna take this opportunity to get some stats back. Besides another blue will invade. Uh, the Discord, everyone was saying the Discord stream was just lagging too much. So. Yeah, he could be waiting for a blue on his side, but I don't think so. He would have gotten one by now if he was. I think he's trying to kill me on the ladder or something. Oh, those guys are still alive. Okay. He might actually be running away and going up the ladder, like over there, and going to the boss. Because he doesn't want to play anymore. Which is funny because, like, you know, he's a PvP -er, because I'm pretty sure he was invading. And we were just having a normal fight. But yeah, I think that might be what he did. Oh, I didn't hear the elevator go up. Yeah, this sword I'm wearing right now gives me mana back. Yeah, I don't, I don't think he went up. I think he's just hiding. Oh, I can hear him. There he is. Want a weapon buff, but I don't want to do anything stupid yet. Wait for him to do him to get passive, because I'm sure he will. I delayed that R2 ever so slightly.
Oh, I already had them on the bar. So I have no idea why he switched weapons. He, uh, his other weapon was way more effective, and he didn't really have the stats to use those, so I don't know why he bothered. Yeah, that guy's a PvPer because he killed every mob uh, while he was waiting. Because he's like invading from there, and while he's waiting for the invasions, he's killing his mobs. Uh, I, don't, I don't know why he bitched out like that. Because then he came back, so if he was wanting to fight, then he should have just fought earlier. I don't get it. Yeah, he wanted the poison, but poison's pretty weak in this game. Uh, it's okay. Like, if you can easily apply it to somebody, it's a nice bonus. But uh, it just doesn't do that much damage, so. Like, to toxic is good, though. Toxic will fuck someone up, but it's a bit harder to land that. Poison is good at low level, though, because, like, most people just don't have anti-poison items and, and whatnot. Like, I mean, for real, poison can be all right. It's just, it's, you got to be able to apply it very quickly, and then you need to be able to use something else, right? Because it can, like, um, distract people, right? It can make people fiddle with their bars. And the damage adds up. If it's gonna be a long fight, like someone's, if it's like a stall off, like both players are being kind of passive. If you land a poison, then, uh, you know, the total damage is actually really high, but. but yeah, to toxic is super strong. Yeah, this guy might be going down the ladder as we invaded uh, on the top part. Is this, this place here actually counts as the top part. And if you don't see anyone around, that, that happens sometimes. Yep, there he is. Okay, yet again, we are trapped down here, so we gotta be careful. Let's go with this thing. Dual katanas, gotta be really careful about those. You don't want to uh, hit trade with the weapon art. Oh, actually, he's got a um, offhand uh, as stock. That's what he's doing. It's it's a katana and then an S stock. Okay. Yeah, I gotta be careful because you know twice as many flasks as me, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Surprised he's not doing more aggro stuff with the uh, katana. Both failed there pretty bad. Probably shouldn't be doing the R2 like that. He's not going to fall for it. So, what I, I know what that host was doing. Like, there's a lot of blues like this, or just other invaders. When you see people one wanting like that, they won't do anything until like one side does something dirty. But like that host had already got, he'd already healed and stuff, right? But he did it when the invader wasn't there. But as soon as that invader got there, he didn't heal anymore because the blue then would probably would have joined in. But if I had healed, although the blue couldn't attack me because they're both blues. But if that was a red and I healed, then that red probably would have attacked me. That happens so much in this game, and it's insane. Like, I can't tell you how many times I I'm an invader, and, like, the host is chugging and chugging and chugging, and then when another invader gets there, they stop chugging, and they try to make it look like it's been a duel this whole time. And then if I chug once, even though I haven't, like, chugged the whole damn time, then the other invader attacks me. And I'm just like, you fucking... I always make sure when I'm an invader, I'm never that guy. I don't... When I invade... I'm on the invader's side, no matter what, and I try to kill the host. The only exception is if someone is hacking. Like, if I notice the, my fellow invader is hacking or something, then I won't, I won't side with them. But uh, other than shit like that, uh, I always am on the side that I'm on. I think the other invader pointed down is just like a kind of a meme. I don't, I don't think he was being very serious with that. All right, we need... How many more? We need 11 more. 
It is really good, though, to get this done early, because uh, I don't know if this character is going to end up at a soul level where Faithful is active, so if I don't get it done now, I might not be able to get it, so... Get this shit out of the way. Okay, he has got parry. Now let's do that, okay. Oh, did he just run away? Maybe not a bad idea, considering the, the archers. We'll hear him. Oh, there we are. Oh, we mashing. Almost. Oh, straight swords. It is true. I mean, part of invading is you can do whatever you want, right? Uh, you, you can, uh, you know, reds can do whatever they want, you know, it's like part of the game, that's fine. But that doesn't mean I, I, I like players that do that. And it's mainly because they're, they're normally being misguided and they don't even realize it, right? Like, um, how do I put this? It's like, they think they're enforcing, like, some sense of honor, but they don't have enough, uh, they don't have enough c uh, context, right? So they're assuming, oh, I saw that guy flask, so he's... Uh, you know, he's being a shit, so I'll side with the other guy. But the other guy had already flashed, like, a bunch of times, right? Like, it's just... It's stupid to try to act like that when you don't have any idea, like, the context that you're in, if that makes any sense. Yeah, straight swords are the castoria of PvP. absolutely. fucking lootly. Although, uh, there is curved, curved swords. They're, they're pretty uh, ridiculous, too. But this character literally has no stats to use any other weapon right now, so... I'm so... like... They're, they're so lean on stats. They'll have more stats later, and I'll be able to use a few more weapons, but, uh... Yeah, this character's weak as fuck. Like, holy shit. I might switch characters just so, uh, I don't have to be using such a bad character. I want to play this character, like, later when they're a bit more prepared. Yeah, let, let's... We'll come back to this later. We'll, we'll, we'll do some other zones here. I don't know why people are always bugging me about my level. I'm not gonna broadcast that because that's just you're just trying to stream snipe me. Nobody's obsessively trying to figure out what your level is and your weapon level range for any other reason than trying to stream snipe you. Like if I wanted people to do that, my stream title would be different. All right, hopefully we get some ganks here. That's still stream sniping, and same thing. I could have wrecked that guy. I was looking at chat, so I didn't, uh... Oh, this guy's a hacker. I always like these hackers. They try to intentionally show off that they're hacking like that. They want you to hit them and see that it doesn't work, because they want you to leave. But what I generally do, uh, I might not do this on stream just because it takes a while, but when people are cheating like that, I, I normally just hide somewhere in their world because they don't normally want to use their cheats in the PvE. And uh, they have to use the bonfire sooner or later, and uh, it normally gets them to like just die to the PvE or disconnect. But yeah, that, that guy's hacking. Uh, he's actually probably Chinese. I've, I, I've noticed this over the last like month of like when I come back when I came back to the game. There is some easily accessible program in China that all it does is turn off your hitbox to invaders. It doesn't turn your hitbox off to mobs and stuff, and it's like, you just click a button and it's just on. And uh, I, I have just invaded it so many times, and when the host just has no hitbox to me, and like they try to show it off like that, 
every time they've been Chinese. I mean, over and over and over again. And now, obviously, uh, we have Cheat Engine, and there's a way to turn your hitbox off in Cheat Engine. But I can just tell there's something different in China where they've got something that's like aimed specifically to not have a hitbox in PvP. But yeah, I've, I've been seeing a lot of that recently, actually. Let me, I'm gonna check. Yep, uh, he's Chinese. So, uh, he, uh, his profile's private, but his uh, his name is all Chinese characters. And uh, I, every time I've seen that where they just I don't have a hitbox like that, that's the case. Yeah, see, look, look I'll, uh, you can hit him with a throwing knife. No hitbox. But yeah, generally, if you just, like, fuck off, they'll uh, either die to the mobs or disconnect eventually. At least we killed this phantom. Yeah, I, I, I might stone out, but I don't know. I, uh... I don't like letting cheaters get away with it. If I can get them, uh... Killed or run their day, to some extent I will. Like, I'm all, you know, people want to, you know, password summon, you know, gank, invade, 2v1, 3v1, 2v2, 3v2, use chameleon, try to knock people off with great bows, you know, it's all good, right? People can play however they want, but when, when people cheat, that, that's just so much no. Yeah, the line of rats, yeah, they're just... They're waiting for their moment. Actually, I, I suspect that guy is not in the best shape, uh, like flask-wise, so I don't think he's wanting to push through the level. So hopefully he'll uh, give up in a minute. But I'm surprised at how many people use these swords and don't do any of the combos. And I mean any of the combos, because like you can do R1, weapon art, and then this. You can do, uh, let's see, it's um, this, this, this. Or you can do uh, honey more stam. You can do that and then that. Oh, no, it's R R two. That's what it is. There we go. That one. Yeah, there, there's so many like for sure hit combos with this thing, uh, and like the classic is that. This is generally the best one right there. Uh, this one's okay too though. But anyway, what most people do is this. And uh, for those who don't play this game, uh, you th this is just clicking the same button over and over again. And it's not that good to do this. Like it's kind of it's kind of good if it's a chaotic situation and maybe there's lag. But like these two hits combo, but like the third hit doesn't. And like it's easy to parry that third hit. It doesn't roll catch. It's there's no reason to do this. There there really isn't. And this is like you just see so many people that just mash this like just like that, just over and over again. It's crazy. Meanwhile, you have all these like guaranteed combos, which is like kind of the point of the weapon, even in PVE. Uh but yeah, no, hardly anybody does it for some reason. I don't know why. Like, obviously, like, the good invaders will, right? But other than that... The one issue with this weapon, and this is why I normally switch off of it when I get into a big, like, nasty gank, if it's, like, 3v1 or something, is because even if you catch somebody, you have to... Look how much time you have to commit to actually, like, doing the combo. Right? That's pretty slow, and in that time... You know, their teammates can just murder you, and then you don't get the damage in like you're supposed to, and there's just other weapons that are more reliable for, like, securing damage. But sometimes maybe you spread them out a little bit, or they're busy with a mob, and the amount of damage you can do with that combo is crazy. Especially if you apply a weapon buff, because it applies the weapon buff two times, because you're swinging twice. So, it's like, that's, that's, two, that's two hits, that's two weapon buffs. Uh, I think that that's two, and that's two. So yeah, you apply the weapon buff six times to the enemy. You hit him with it six times, and then your own, you know, base damage. That, there's there's almost no other weapon that that can just do that kind of thing. It's ridiculous. There's uh oh god, that, there are some weapons though that have like combos that aren't supposed to be combos. Like you can tell the devs did not intend it. Um, there's like some cancels and stupid shit, and some of that can get really uh, silly. There's like split leaf, there's some stuff with split leaf that's nonsense. There's gales, which that is absolutely not supposed to combo the way it does. And then I, th I think they nerfed it, um, but there used to be uh, a ridiculous combo with Exile Greatsword. And I think it's still good, but I do think they nerfed it. 
It used to be like you could R1, I think, into the full weapon art, and I don't think you can do that anymore. I think you can R1 into maybe like one hit of the weapon art or something. But that was absurd. I remember that used to be one of the most meta weapons in the entire game for like the first few patches of the game. Because Exile Greatsword is just good, and it still is. Uh, but the weapon art hits a bunch, and because you could combo into the weapon art, and then each hit of the weapon art would apply a weapon buff, it was outrageously easy to do like 1,600 damage and crap like that. And let's see, how much health do I have? Uh, yeah, 1,200. And like my, like my 120, I think, you know, as an, inv an invader, so I don't have as much health, probably has like 1,400, know, 1,500, so you, you just get one shot. So, this host is playing the waiting game, I feel. Which wouldn't be so bad if he didn't turn his fucking hitbox off. Wait, is there no switch down here? Oh, there it is. Oh yeah, Dark Sword. Dark Sword is still really good, to be honest. It's just not quite worth the... the effort anymore. Yeah, if you can go into your menu. Uh, let's see. I don't think you can do it when you're in gameplay. Oh, here we go. Yeah. You just put that to offline. There you go. And then, uh, no more, uh, online shenanigans. You could also, um, kill yourself. And I don't mean that as, like, an insult. I mean, like, literally in the game, you kill yourself and you, you lose ember form. And when you're not in Ember form, uh, you, you, there's no online stuff. Uh, so that, that, that's another thing you could do. But yeah, just if you don't want to deal with online stuff, just go into your uh, menu and just right there. Uh, I'm pretty sure, though, if you're in-game, you have to reset when you do that. Like, it won't take effect immediately. But yeah, if you want, to if you want though, like the messages from other players... If you want to be able to summon your friends and stuff, then you have to deal with the invasions. But that that's it's part of the game, uh, and it's actually rather important for the game because this game is not balanced around co-op. Co-op kind of takes away from a lot of the... Oh! You're getting fucked up down there. That's good. Hopefully this guy just dies. Maybe we can, like... Do I have a scaring ring on this character? I do. Okay, let's stalk this guy and see how he is at PvE. Anyway, uh, yeah, the point of invasions is to balance out how overpowered co-op is and uh, that kind of stuff. And that's the thing, in Dark Souls 3, if you're playing solo, your odds of being invaded actually go way down. And if you're co-oping, your odds of being invaded go up. And uh, that's very intentional. Yeah, let's see if the host can make it to the boss. He Honestly, you should be able to. This zone is rather easy, and uh, the boss is, like, right there. Like, there's so little to do in the Profane Capital. If he's even remotely competent at the game, he shouldn't have any issues. I, 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 I've done this zone without having to use a single flask before. Like, I've done the entire zone. Uh, just no... And that, that's, like, that's without me going slow and, like, you know, trying to not do no hit, right? I'm not doing, like, soul level one careful stuff. Like, I'm just going through the zone, right? Like, it's just it's not that hard. Yeah, he's in here. So as long as we don't get too close to him, he can't see us because we got Obscuring Ring on. You can actually make this jump. It's really funky. There we go. Oh, well, he sees us now. I wonder if he's out of flasks yet. But it's wild. I, 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 you know, I invade a lot, and the amount of Chinese players I've seen that turn their hitbox off like this... It's, it's, it's staggering, but not only that, they all play the same way. Like, they all try to, like, you know, get to the invader and, and like, and let stand still and let them hit them so they hope, like, the invader gives up. Like, it's, it's just the same shit. It's crazy, like, how often I see that. Well, the reason I care if he sees me is because, um, like, people, it, it's a psychology thing, dude. It's crazy. Even hackers... Like, when they see you, they'll, they'll behave differently. They might not just play through the level. They'll be more stubborn to try to get rid of you and stuff like that. Where 
if they think you're like off AFK somewhere, they're just not gonna think about it. Like, it's a it's absolutely a thing. Like, like he's way more likely to stop progressing with the level if he sees me around. Like a hundred percent, even though he's cheating. It's just I I've seen this a million times. It's just how people are. Yeah, I wish Profane Capital had two bosses in it. I think it's kind of obvious that it needs that. And then like, or just Illithril Dungeon was separated. Because Profane Capital and Illithril Dungeon are like the same zone, and you could have separated them. Made Illithril Dungeon have its own boss, and then uh, have Profane Capital be bigger. Because like, Profane Capital is basically just like a big bonus room at the end of Illithril Dungeon, right? And it really deserves more than that, because it's got so much lore, and uh, it's such an interesting place. This guy. I really should have just stoned out, but we're committed now. But yeah, I, there, I just, there's such, such a, there's like a program in China that is just like incredibly accessible that, uh, just like all of them have it, dude. It's cra it's so rare that I invade a Chinese person that is not using this cheat. Like, I, I can think of maybe two times I've invaded a Chinese player and this hasn't been the case. That is such a weird jump. We're, we're Elden Ring now, boys. So I heard in uh, another Dark Souls stream that because the- because I've been avoiding spoilers of Elden Ring like as hard as, as possible. But I saw people talking about it in a, a stream of Dark Souls that be, because the P PlayStation 4 got you know, jailbroken, and you know, they data mined literally everything in the network test. Thankfully, it looks like From Software predicted that, and they ripped so much out of the game, like so much stuff. Like, they, they did not find any new armor sets, any new weapons. Like, the they, From clearly was ready for this. Um, but apparently, they found like the starting stats of like the classes uh, and stuff like that. Uh, cause they got like a, a, like a broken version of the character creator or something, and all the, the starting classes are in there. You can't see their gear though, and you can't see like their weapons and stuff, but you can see their stats. So, uh... People are already, you know, kind of figuring out, you know, which, uh, classes will be the, the best for certain builds and stuff. It's actually pretty easy to figure out. I figured this out myself back in Dark Souls 2. It's like you basically, you know, anytime there's stats in the direction you want, you count that as like a positive on a calculator. Uh, and, and then you you, ne you negative stats for what your soul level is, for the starting class. And then the, the, whichever class has the highest points is the best for whatever you want. Like if you're gonna if you're a character that wants uh, strength higher than you know whatever you're gonna start with, or at least as high as what the, the character starts with, and, and dex you know uh, you need more than any class is gonna start with, and then like endurance, health, uh, and maybe attunement. Right? If you, those are your stats you care about then like whatever classes you basically have the most in that stats versus their own soul level is is the best one. Like it, it sounds kind of complicated, but it really isn't. It's like super simple. Yeah, now I do, fashion's nice, but uh, this generally you're not gonna use your starting class gear that long. It depends, right? Especially like the night gear in Dark Souls 3, you can use that for the whole game. Uh, and then some of the starting classes have weapons that you can use for the whole game. But a lot of them you're, you're gonna replace pretty quick if, if you want to. Uh, so it's not crazy to pick the class that has like the meta stats that you want, and then just, you know, find the gear that you want to fix it. Like, that, that can be kind of fun. Like, oh wow, I don't like my starting class's gear. Let's try to find the stuff er early, in as early game as possible to fix my fashion. But yeah, I don't know, I might pick a class based on just what I think looks cool or whatever, or it starts with an axe or something, because I always like axes. But uh, hopefully, because this might happen, whatever class starts with axe, they might just be the meta class for faith strength. Oh, yes! Woo! Fuck that guy. That took forever, but I, I just, I can't stand giving a W to a hacker, man. Okay, oh, I should block that guy. I don't want to invade hackers, you know, uh, if I can help it. Okay. I wonder what got him eventually.
I, I almost never go with Depraved. Depraved, I just find so boring. Like, even if I'm playing a character purely for PvE, not, you know, I just want to have fun, I'm never going to pick Dep Deprived. Because it's not, it's not fun having no gear, and then, like, you're just at... You're always, like, every Deprived playthrough is the same because there's, all, there's like, very set in stone items that are, you know, that you obtain early that are usable. And, like, it's just so boring, right? I much prefer, like, the different options the classes have. Uh, I don't know why I started with my weapon art. It's kind of an autopilot there. All right, I have no idea if this guy is good or not, so. I, if he's trying to parry me, I need to actually be careful here. I think he's just a typical straight sword user. I don't know why I'm not buffing my weapon, because that's like what this weapon is good for. Oh, he didn't have the stam! I would've killed him right there! But I didn't have enough stam to do my combo. What the hell is this lag? I don't have a stam again. Clearly this guy's got the big brain strats. Get me to roll around so I don't have a stam to actually kill him. Also just like lagging like crazy. Okay, that was the weirdest. Like it was just weirdly laggy and uh... I didn't want to let him just heal, so I wasn't like spacing anything. I was like the sloppiest, dirtiest mash off ever. But he wasn't even mashing, he was just kind of rolling around. That's where I should have just done some R1s to just, like, catch him. I was, just, I was getting way too greedy to try to get the combo on him. So that, that, um,. That like hack where they lose their hitbox, it uh, it only applies to the invader from what I've seen. Now I'm sure they have a cheat engine equivalent where if they wanted to like cheat way harder they could. It's just there's some, you know, for some reason all the Chinese players don't want any PvP even with other Chinese players. And it's just so common that they download that thing. Okay, I just... That's a dead end, sir. It's actually bad to go back here, because if you have Way of Blue on and your blue summons, no blue is even going to think to look back here. Why would you run back here and then just instantly not, you know, leave? Look at that damage. Like, that, that's, that is so much damage for, like, you know, it's not the fastest weapon ever, but... And it can get higher, right? Like, this isn't, like, a super high-level character. It can definitely get higher. And there's no ganks going on, though. We're not getting groups. Maybe we'll try level 80. Why don't they play offline? It's because, dude, it's because they want to be able to co-op and get carried. And they want to be able to get the messages, like, they want the pro positives of online, but they don't want the negatives, you know, they don't, they don't want to play the actual game, right? They want to... It's silly to me, it really is, it's like... Dark Souls is a pretty unique experience, and if you don't want the unique stuff, then you really, you're gonna have a better time playing a different game entirely. Like, if you want a good co-op game, like hack and slash co-op game, you know, Dark Souls is not the best one by any means. If you're gonna cut out the unique elements of the game, then... It's not that special, to be honest. But it's not that difficult in co-op, that's the thing. Like, a lot, a lot, uh, you can have a good time in Dark Souls in offline mode, because um, the PvE it can be challenging, but it's not challenging in co-op at all. Uh, the co-op really breaks the way the AI works and everything else. Let's go uh, start with... I like starting with Twin Spears, and then if it's like it's too many opponents, then I just switch off of them. I, I do really do not like Twin Spears in, if you're outnumbered. It's just, they, they, they have to commit too long to their swings, like the rolling attack and stuff, and then like because your hitboxes are thin, you're not covering your sides, where like straight swords, great swords, stuff like that, axes, you know, they, they can kind of hit around themselves, so like multiple opponents are gonna have to like respect your swing, where they don't have to respect the spear at all, right? If they're to your side, even just a little bit, or behind you, they don't care that you're swinging, you know, they don't need to dodge, none of that.
Not a lot of phantoms today, though. Might be too late at night. Oh, yeah, it is. That's probably why. It's a lot less active at this time. I hate fighting in here because your lock-on distance is tiny. patient we would have had a uh oh, fuck me normally they get summoned faster than that so uh my strength character does not have the twin axes yet but we'll get uh, hell maybe we'll farm that tonight we'll see but yeah i need to farm those i, I should probably farm them once i get to ca profane capital because then you get the ring that boosts drop rate uh and that'll make it a lot easier I don't think they have a good drop rate. I actually think the drop rate is crap, which sucks because they're awesome and I can't wait to do invasions with them in the Great Club. Like, that's that's going to be a good time. How is he just now to fighting the Crystal Sage when the ladder is down? That is confusing. Okay, we don't have a great connection. It's, I can see it's a, delayed a little bit. Oh my god, he's literally just mashing R1 and I lose all of that life because of this fucking hallway. Oh my god, this connection. I kind of knew that was going to be the case though, so I, I gotta play with that in mind. He just got tagged by the Crystal Sage there, that's funny. Always like people that use Lloyd's Talismans before you've taken damage. Uh, I'm gonna blame lag on that one. Oh yeah, our, our connection is not great. I suspect, uh, geographically, we're pretty far away from each other. I might do the, um... Yeah, let's do Night Slayer. He's blocking enough. Surprised he didn't block that. Dude, he's almost hit trading with me because of the lag there. It's so ridiculous. Might even try Greatsword. I think I might be able to get a guard break on him if I do. Dude, that should not be a hit trade. <laughs> like, at all. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, he was probably uh, pretty far away from me. Like, Europe or something. Although, honestly, I've had, some of it's internet too, because the, the farther away you are from the player, the better their internet needs to be, and your internet. But I've had times where I can invade people in Italy and in Japan and stuff, uh, and they just have really good internet, and our connection's pretty solid. Like, yeah, it's not as good as, like, someone that's stateside, but it, it'll be totally playable, not a big deal. And I've had one person in China that our connection was actually pretty solid. Like, you know, I could tell they were in China. It wasn't like as good as like a, a good connection, but it, it wasn't that bad at all. Like it was, it was better than that fight we just had. Like, absolutely. Uh, but they probably had like God tier internet. Uh. Oh, he's fighting the spear guy. He done killed him. Oh my god, I hate straight swords. You can hit it one time and you're like, especially in a gank, you're almost dead because it lets the other guy hit you. Like, I love almost dying to just a guy randomly clicking R1 in a bunch. Okay, there's a blue here. That sucks. I'm down two flasks just because of that. And now they're running away. Okay, well, let's see. We don't need this anymore. Uh, we'll do that. 
This is probably going to be a dirty one, so I need to not be a moron. Hopefully we have a good connection, because I might be able to get some parries, because they're both pretty spammy. That actually hit me. The rage! I think the blue might be lost. Okay, there's the blue. That's a katana. Seats over here tapping me. Okay, it's two straight swords of katana and a spell spammer. That's not uh, ideal. You know, you got a couple of iframes on your roll, if uh, you didn't know. More than two. Oh, that almost worked. I actually wanted to throw that bomb at the caster, but it worked out. I need to run this guy out of FP. There's no way for me to fight anybody if he's going to be spamming spells while I'm fighting them. You don't see people use that weapon art very often. I thought I would win the trade, and I kind of did. I thought I was far enough into my swing to get hyper armor there, but uh, apparently not. Thank you, Mr. Thrall. Why are you swinging? I, I, I'm so surprised that guy swung. That was like the most obvious time for a great so sword to go for like their typical. Look at me, I'm a great sword. I take a step forward and swing once. Like I'm so good. <clears throat> you got the loot back there though. I think it's a soul item or something. That was not the cleanest of invasions, but I mean, we won. Like that was so sloppy. I was getting tagged by magic. I, I stood in the lava. I didn't pick up any of my guard breaks. So the uh, gold was throwing so hard though, like there, there that big chaotic bit where I was just like right here on the host. If the gold was just like right here spamming magic, I, I would not have been able to get any damage in. He might have even tagged me. I'd have to back off or I would have died, right? But he was like dicking around, I think trying to kill the crystal lizard or something. And you know, what he could have done, and I've done this before when I'm on the host side, is like if the two are fighting the one and like they're doing all right, I'll go kill mobs, so like if the invader goes to move through the level and use the mobs, the mobs are gone, right? But he wasn't even doing that, like those thralls were still alive back there. Yep, don't stand in the fire, I uh, I, I forgot how to play WoW. Dude, I remember that when WoW was like new, and you were like so leet if you could just understand the concept of not standing in fire. I, I wish I was kidding, but it's like that was the level of competence. I remember, oh god, I'm gonna sound like such an asshole, but it's just, uh, here, you, you can wait on, wait a second, Mr. Host. Um, gotta tell my story. Um, like there were people like in groups and guilds and stuff that like they, they could barely like turn their character around. Like, like the time it would take them to like just switch targets and heal someone was just insane. I mean, like, and, and that's why, like, raids were hard, was because, like, like 75% of the group, or maybe 50%, were just shit. Like, 50% of the group was shit. 25% of the group was, like, barely able to function a computer, and the other 25% was actually good at the game, right? It was just, I mean, insane, dude. Like, the amount of people that, like, just could not figure out how to operate a keyboard. Can we not fight in here? Look, look at this lock-on distance, right? It's, it's just awful. Like who, most people don't even like think about it. They don't even realize that this, this room is death. So I think all of those fired and it's just lag that those are sitting there.
Nope, nope, they were there, or something. I honestly don't know, because if they were there, they should have fired a while ago. Did that man just try to get me with the ground? Is he trying to parry? I'm not even sure, like, what this guy is doing. He's got caster, but it doesn't feel like it. And he's got a blue, but I don't know what the blue is doing either. He tried to cast something, but he didn't have enough mana for it. So, uh, the blueberry is really helping this guy out, as you can see. You know, really uh, turning the tide, really saving his host, earning that proof of concord, you know. Doing the Dark Moons proud. I really thought that would be a backstab. Damn, I shouldn't have rolling attack there. He's been healing so much that he could probably actually be out. So that blue uh, is the reason Gwendolyn died. It, that blue, he, it, when Aldridge was was storming the cathedral, right? That that blue was on guard duty, and he didn't even notice. You, you, remember, you know, anyone seen Monty Python and the Holy Grail? The, like the two guards at the wedding, right? When Lancelot's coming, that blue is one of those guys, and he was just sitting there like that, like uh, eh. And he, he didn't even, even now he doesn't know. Even now he doesn't realize that Aldridge took over the cathedral. He's got no idea. And what, what's, what I, what, what's crazy about that is the host had not killed the Crystal Lizard here. Which means the host hadn't done anything in the level, right? He was as very early in the level, none of the shortcuts were open. So the, it's, it should not be hard for the blue to figure out where he is, right? If he spawns at the start, which would be the worst place for him to spawn, so we're giving him the best case scenario here. The, the, you can see the Crystal Sage isn't there, and you can see that the host is not at the bonfire, okay? You have one direction to go now, right? Literally, there's no shortcuts, you have no options. All you do is go linear through the level, and it does not take very long to get here. You should obviously be seeing the damage numbers from me beating the living piss out of him. So it's like, oh, he's over there in the dark room. Let me just run over there. It takes like 10 seconds. Uh, and there we go. But I, I, God knows what that guy was doing. Wait, did I point down? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the, the crystal lizard location. That's the same thing. And okay, we got bleach. Fantastic. What weapons do I got? Okay, you know what? Let's... We'll be a weeb for a second. I haven't used these in a long time. If it's a gank, I don't want to use them because I, I, uh, I don't know how. That did not uh, work the way I wanted it to. Okay, this guy's spamming R1 and I'm getting wrecked by it. I don't know the spacing on this weapon at all. I'm, I'm literally about to die to a guy just mashing R1. I feel like a shield is actually a really good counter to this thing's weapon art, but I mean, I could be wrong. I needed to swing sooner there for that to work. I'm trying to see how often he's going to swing twice. when you're trying to force a hit trade, like when you think they're going to swing. Because if I remember correctly, it has massive poise break. Although I don't have the uh, TP or FP for it anymore. I'm literally struggling against like the most basic bitch ever because I have no idea what I'm doing. So I'll just, you know, roll catch five times in a row so I don't have to like know how to use my weapon because I have no idea what I'm doing here. 
I, I know the weapon art is really important, but uh, I did not make good use of that. I'm pretty sure uh, if you land the weapon art, it actually combos with the L1, like this thing. I'm pretty sure that is the uh, the case. I mean, no offense to that guy, but I mean, he wasn't, you know, he was just doing typical greatsword, you know, R1 stuff. He wasn't doing anything fancy. And that's fine. It's not like he needs, you know, it's like he's just playing the game. I'm just saying, it's like, I'm good enough at this game, I shouldn't be losing to that. And I'm just so bad with this weapon, I had no idea how to, like, space my swings or anything. Honestly, whoa, hello. Like, I don't even know the difference of, like, when I would want to L1 versus R1. I have no fucking idea. Apparently there. I, I was gonna kill him! I literally had a combo there! The fucking host just shows up and saves the day! How dare they have teamwork! Imagine if the blue had done that uh, earlier. That, that, that host would have been happy, I'd imagine. Okay, I did see there though that the weapon art did combo into the L1. And that was even at an awkward angle, so it absolutely does that. So that's good. Okay, you know, if they're gonna take- Oh, fuck, are they up there? What?! How did they get past me there? Am I blind? I'm so glad Cairo's not here. Like, it's only one path- Oh no, there's the ladder. That, that could've been it. He just got hit by the Thrall. If that Thrall had hit that firebomb, uh, I think I would've killed him. Thank you. Hyper armor! Oh my god, exo- Just mash R1, die. Okay. I think that guy has like 700 AR or something. We were doing good there. <laughs> One shot, essentially. The yeah, exile greatsword is nutty. It does a lot of damage. And especially because uh, invaders and like the whites and yellows, they have less health. So it's really easy for it to just delete somebody. So, uh, uh, also I'm pretty sure, because what happened there was he was just mashing R1, like he just R1 three times. Uh, I'm pretty sure it roll catches on the third swing if you don't delay your roll, and that, I think I'm pretty sure that's what happened. So that kind of sucked though, because we were actually doing pretty good there. We, uh, were getting a lot of hits on him. And that yellow was fucked up from the katana earlier. Maniacs emotes are always on point. Yeah, I have a build that can use Exile Greatsword, and it's not even optimized for it, and it's got like 700 AR. It's like, okay, sure. I, I cannot even imagine if you optimize for Exile Greatsword, and then you slap like a, a, a Lightning Risen on it or something, I cannot even imagine the damage, dude. I'm surprised more people don't use it. I think it's one of the most newbie-friendly weapons ever because you get all the benefits of like a great sword. You get a way better running attack, a way better running attack. Uh, it's got hyper armor. It's got a weapon art that can't be parried and, and does a lot of damage and it's pretty quick. Like there's just so many positives. Uh, I honestly have no idea why more people don't use it. Like it's not super rare, but it's kind of rare. The only reason I don't use it is because uh, it looks kind of dumb, and, uh, also Tusk used it a lot back in the day, so I, I just didn't want to use what he was using. I'm not sure where this guy is. He, did he run past everything? Okay, the ladder's not down. There'd be, there be a bit blueberry. I, I, I swear I heard fighting, though, by the Crystal Sage. Oh, he was fighting the Crystal Sage down there, and the Crystal Sage teleported up there. That's what happened. Okay. Uh, you know what? This is not the time for a green man to learn how to use dual katanas. We are, uh... We're not ready to be Saber Masashi right now. Like, let's just take it. I, I can do that off stream in, like, the arena. That's a good time to learn stuff. All right, they'll probably be coming through here. Oh, 
he is so laggy. Are you fucking- are you fucking kidding me with that? All right, Dude, this lag. Not like this. He's Edmund Dantes. Thankfully, he's also really dumb and just casting faith spells right in my face. That was not the time for that. And his, uh... His host did not care to protect him, apparently. I have a feeling the host is hanging out at the bonfire. Uh, maybe not. Okay. I, I don't get why he wasn't with the blue if he's not back there, though. Maybe he just didn't like that blue. I wanted to see him die. Okay, Scythe, those Scythe users are almost always, they're normally so mashy, they're like really big on the R1 spam. How is that not a backstab? This man is not respecting me, <laughs> like at all. <laughs> he wasn't even trying to dodge me. So, I feel like that fight might have gone a lot differently if the blue and the host had simply stuck together. To be fair, who likes blues? I mean, occasionally they're, they're good. Dude, it is so funny when I'm a blue. Uh, I, I've had some in interesting moments where like, Everyone is a moron except for me, and then the, the red is just like so surprised that the, you, you can tell like the, the, the red is expecting me to just, you know, run in there and mash R1 or, or whatever. So when you start roll catching or delaying your swings and shit, they're like not ready for it at all, and they'll like fall for it a lot at the start. And then you have to shape up. But a lot of times they die before they shape up. I try, and I have to put emphasis on try, I don't always succeed. I try to not underestimate people, but man, blues are just, they're so bad so often, it is really easy to underestimate them. But I've seen some blues that are like twinks and stuff, like it happens. All right, there he is. All right, don't need cat ring. Went to the left, in before the elevator's actually there. Okay, it's not. It's using an ultra. I fucking love that ultra. It's got a weapon art that's very practical. And you can do mix up with it with your R2. It's great. It's also got a good rolling attack, which if he had used right there, he would have hit me. He actually delayed his swing. Oh god, he delayed that swing too. Uh, that was a weird time to heal. I wasn't ready to punish it though, because uh, most people wouldn't do that. So I'm not respecting his rolling attack because he's not using it, but if he starts using it, I'm going to get fucking destroyed. And look, the rolling attack. Oh, hello, gentlemen. I might be dead here. I don't have a lot of stam. I could really use a mob right now. That would be very helpful. Also, I could use Cat Ring, because then I could jump off something and get some distance. That guy tried to shoot me with a bow, but he didn't have arrows equipped. Okay, I've got plenty of distance now. Man, I had that guy, but then the Spanish Inquisition showed up as Cap and Tip. 
I was like, hey, I got this guy. It's going good. No problem. Then all of a sudden... That was a very unique experience. So I think what's going on is um, they were actually ganking. Uh, and I, I think those guys had gone up to fight someone else or whatever. And the entire level is open, right? And most of the mobs are dead. I, I'm pretty sure that's what's going on. Yeah, I see that guy's dead. There actually might be another red here. And if that's the case, I actually should not be going the direction that I'm going right now, but I think that might actually be what's going on, is there's another red in here. Because you can go back to the bonfire, though, from up here. Alright, what do I want to wear? Let's go... Like that. This probably is a good greatsword. Time... Okay, let me see if the mobs are here in the, the hall. They're probably not. Yeah, they're not. Okay. Well, this is going to be uh, pretty nasty. Okay, there is another invader here now. Yeah, they, they were ganking. They were absolutely ganking. It's just they were separated at the time. I need to help my teammate, though, because he's not going to know what's going on. Oh, thank God they were just waiting around here. They could have been getting so much more done if they weren't just sitting around like that. I like how they were so greedy when they thought they had the, the, like, the jump on me there, and now they're just waiting around at the bonfire. Who does this? Like, by all means, if you want to play with your friends, you know, in 2v3, that's fine, but don't just sit around at the bonfire. It's so fucking boring. Do I have obscuring ring on this character? I don't! What? I gotta fix that. It's because I haven't finished the Hodra quest line. Because I could put Obscuring Ring on right now and tag one of these guys. So that guy might be going up top. So all three of them are here though. So if that guy leaves, I'd have faith in my fellow invader and in kicking his ass. Okay, that guy's password summoned though, so he's actually higher level. Normally means guard breaking them is really difficult, but it depends. Dude, I don't understand when people have the number advantage and they don't get aggro. Like, I cannot even put into words how easy it is to kill someone in a 3v1. Especially when you can't hit each other, right? If it's like three reds versus a host, it's actually not so good because all the reds can hit each other. But, like, if I clone myself twice and I'm on the host side and I've got one red in my world, I will murder that man in like two seconds. It doesn't even matter if he's incredibly good at the game. It just... Your advantage in a 3v1 is just nutty. It's just some of these people are so bad at the game and they have no idea what to do when they have the numbers advantage. Like, what I don't get, they, basically they don't know how to be aggro, right? Even in a 1v1, they don't know how to be the aggressor. But then somehow they expect the other person to be the aggressor when that person's outnumbered, right? They can't figure it out when it's one-on-one. -on -one. How do you expect the other person to do it when it's 1v3, right? Like, it's not very, uh, reasonable. And it's also just so fucking boring. Like. Whoever has the numbers advantage should obviously be the one attacking. But normally people like that have literally never been the one outnumbered before. So they don't realize like there's like no one's gonna just run into the blender. Also the other invader is just like gone. I'm guessing he has no idea where the host is. If they go up top, uh, I wonder if they're going to go to the boss, even though they have Dried Finger on because they're wanting to get invaded, just to boot me out because the, uh, they want the invader to be all stupid aggro. wonder if this guy is going to... I think they're going to try to get me to 1v1 this guy, then they're going to try to attack me, but if I can get a hit in, it's totally worth it. Okay, there's the other red. That guy's using the wrong attack. Fucking firebomb. So the other red is not doing anything.
I wonder if I put Night Slayer on if I can get that guy. Maybe. I don't need Cat Ring this second. I wish the... Oh, he switched to a Great Shield. It's probably not going to happen now. I wish the other red would do literally anything here. Let's see if I can parry this guy. Oh my god. We're gonna be here for a while. Pretty sure I can take two of these guys at a time, but uh, I need the red to at least distract one of them. The host is actually in pretty bad shape if the other red doesn't die, because he lost a lot of flasks when we were fighting earlier. They're just spamming projectiles. I don't know why these guys are so scared though. Like I. It's like, there's nothing magical happens when you go through this door. It's not like all of a sudden I gain, you know, eight health bars. You know, that, that doesn't happen. I'm surprised. Wow, you need to get more health, bud. Uh, I'm surprised that uh, I was able to break there. So that insane noise we just heard was the invader dropping a prism stone from the top of the elevator shaft. Oh great, now there's another one and my fellow invader isn't doing anything. This is great. Now the other red is still here. He's just uh, up the elevator shaft. I'm not sure the other red even realizes I'm here. I think he thinks he's alone. Okay. I swear, if there is four of you, and you don't get aggressive, I'm gonna lose my fucking mind. Can, can we play the game now? Okay, well, uh, that guy has no idea what he's doing. Thanks you for the flasks, though. Uh, that was a, uh, that was a flask delivery service, is, is what that was. That guy also doesn't know how to make a PvP build, I can assure you of that. I think I know why they're not being aggressive. They're fucking terrible at the game. I'm pretty sure that is the deal. And the thing is, you can be terrible at the game and win when, when you play like this. Like, eventually... Look, look, if the other ones were there, I would have died right there. Just like that. I would have died. Uh, and, like, it, you don't have to do anything special for that. Okay, we might want the Night Slayer again, because he's trying to block again. So I really need these guys to run out of projectiles, because if I try to fight... I don't even, like, they want you to be aggressive, but then they play in a way that makes it IMPOSSIBLE for you to be aggressive, right? Like, that, that doesn't make any sense. Like, any time I could possibly swing, someone is throwing a projectile at me. So, of course, I'm not going to swing. Like, they're not even good at being bad. <laughs> it's ridiculous. He's just mash- he's mashing L1 when he does that. My god, I could've killed that guy so easily. Yellow's actually probably pretty low in flasks, though. So I really wish the other red would, you know, play the goddamn game, because these guys suck. If he can just distract, a, like, one of them, this will be easy. But I, I don't think the red even realizes that I'm here. Okay, at least we're actually playing the game now. I might need a flask, but I want to save it in case you get, like, really passive again. But I could die in one hit right now if I don't.
Dude, so many people do that. They plunge when you're still uh, falling over. Like, it's crazy. Like, if you wait a second, you can actually get the plunge, but if you do it immediately, it's never going to work. There we go again with the projectile spam. I'm guessing he's summoning that dual spear guy again for like the millionth time. Oh my god, this is just the stupidest thing. Like you have the numbers advantage and you're playing like you're the one that's outnumbered. That makes no sense. And how, I don't understand how this is even fun. I'd be so bored out of my mind if I was in the numbers advantage. We're just sitting around at the bonfire. I'd be like, can we go fight, please? And I guarantee you, any time one of these got, if guys got, like, trapped and it was a 1v1, they would be such a fucking pussy. God, fuck you. Like, watch this guy. This guy's just gonna fall apart now. Like, oh look, now I'm not being passive. I wonder why. So much trash. Now I gotta point down. I gotta, I gotta gas, because they're gonna get summoned again. Like, they're gonna get summoned again in no time. Because they got passwords on. Now see, if the other red was smart, he would have been uh, harassing these two. But he's not. They, I, they, I, I'm so annoyed at the other red dude. Like, I just killed two phantoms and the other reds, what, what is he doing? Nothing. Where if he was putting pressure on these guys, I, we could just, we'd be 2 v 2 them right now. They'd be fucked. How are you fat rolling in that gear? It's because he has multiple weapons equipped. I guarantee you that guy has multiple weapons equipped and he doesn't like realize why that's a fucking terrible idea. Oh my god, why is the other red not down here right now? I should have had thorns on. If I had armor of thorns on, I would have killed that guy. Oh, thank god. I need to switch weapons. Yeah, he's basically just trying to force hit trades. He's not doing anything risky. Fuck you. Those guys get a point down. The, this one's for capping. Also, the red gets a point down because you're a fucking moron. I, I'll just kick. Don't worry. I'll kill all four of them on my own. No, don't don't get up. Don't get up. Get get you know. Send the lawn lawn chair. It's fine. Fucking reds up there dropping prism stones down the elevator shaft. I'm over here killing four dudes for some fucking reason. God. Yeah, I, I don't think the invader had any idea I was there, and he didn't have enough, like, awareness to realize, like, oh, two of them just died, huh? Just to, I, wonder, I, I wonder if he thinks that they just wiped to PvE. Good lord. It takes a lot to get me to point down, but, uh... Every once in a while, you know? Oh god, it's 1.30 a.m.
I should uh, probably wrap up. Let's. Hopefully, this is a quick one, but uh, it looks like a lot of stuff is dead. Hmm. Right, let's see what Crystal Sage is. He's not there. I think Crystal Sage is dead. Okay, he's up there. What is going on right now? When I see the name Jin, I think of Blaze Blue and Ice Car, and it's not a good experience. Bad memories. Chill stream, by the way. Yeah, that's. It, it doesn't take long in this fucking game sometimes, man. It was chill when we were in Aldridge Faithful, right? That was pretty chill. Then, then you go to Duke's Archives, and just all hell breaks loose. Good timing that, uh. Bit there, uh, boy, boy. Okay, you know we're gonna wrap up there. I don't, I don't know what today was. I don't know what today was. Blaze Blue has rollback. Uh, just CF. Now the, the other ones don't, but Blaze Blue CF has rollback now. <sighs> they added that like a um, month ago or whatever. It got a huge boom in the player base when they did that too. Yeah, right, right now uh, it doesn't have rollback, but it, it has it like, or it didn't earlier, but it does now. Okay, that's enough of, uh, of this. Uh, we will be streaming tomorrow, and uh, we'll, do, we'll do a normal Dark Souls stream, although this kind of turned into one. But uh, yeah, we'll do FGO a bit, and then we'll uh, work on our strength character like we're supposed to be doing, right? Get the twin axes, great clubs and people. That was a, that was a good W to end it on, though, but uh, I will see you guys tomorrow.